We all remember how Bill Gates was squarely questioned during the COVID-19 pandemic if he has some sort of agenda behind the mass vaccination campaign. What if we suggest that Bill Gates has a new agenda with monkeypox as well? Hello and welcome to TFI Global, the foreign affairs and geopolitical analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host, Vedika. And if you haven't subscribed to the TFI Global channel yet, Hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to receive all the latest updates. More than 1,600 people have been confirmed to have monkeypox disease, with another 1,500 suspected to have it in more than 39 countries. Monkeypox's chances of becoming a pandemic are increasing and once again, we have a man to blame. The man is again philanthropist and wannabe revolutionary Mr. Bill Gates. Even before the official eruption of monkeypox in the world, there were preparations already in the motion. This is a new chapter of Bill Gates and Pharma Lobby's fake scientific scenario. Scenarios were being developed and vaccine preparations were already in motion to tackle monkeypox. This is one of the most scandalous events in the history of modern science. Back in 2017, when it was pretty normal for the people to not wear masks and fear catching fever, Bill Gates at the Munich conference warned the governments of the dangers of a bioterrorist attack involving a deadly strain of the smallpox virus. The philanthropist stated, The next epidemic could originate on the computer screen of a terrorist using genetic engineering to create a synthetic version of the smallpox virus or a super contagious and deadly strain of the flu. Later in November 2021, Bill Gates again warned governments to prepare for future pandemics and smallpox terror attacks by investing billions in research and development. He said this at the policy exchange interview with UK's Jeremy Hunt. He also called for the formation of a new billion dollar World Health Organization Pandemic Task Force. He said that countries like the US and the UK must spend tens of billions to fund the research. In addition, the Nuclear Threat Initiative a non-profit group formed by a former U.S. Senator Sam Nunn and millionaire Ted Turner planned a simulation of a monkeypox outbreak as early as December 2020. Here comes a new interesting string. Bill Gates and Ted Turner have a good friendship. Warren Buffet, George Soros, Michael Bloomberg, Jeff Bezos, Oprah Winfrey and others are members of the Good Club. This club is alleged to have conspired to reduce the world population. The monkeypox simulation seems to be a well-planned agenda. Though the preparations were underway since 2017, the official execution started in December 2020 with a meeting of senior U.S. national security officials. The timeline is as follows. In July 2020, FDA approved the smallpox and monkeypox vaccine, making it the first permitted commercial marketing or use of the product in the U.S. In December 2020, the planning and formulation of a simulation of a monkeypox pandemic took place at the U.S. National Security and Biological Weapons Experts meeting under the Nuclear Threat Initiative. In March 2021, tabletop simulation of fictitious monkeypox pandemic at Munich Security Conference 2021 took place. Bill Gates warned the governments of the likelihood of a monkeypox terrorist attack. And eventually, in May 2022, monkeypox erupted. The marketing of smallpox vaccines effective against monkeypox vaccines is already underway. All of this gives the impression that monkeypox is part of a well-oiled machine designed to unleash bioterrorism on the population. Bill Gates and other pharma lobbyists are probably behind the agenda, as bad as it may seem. Right now, the WHO is promoting smallpox vaccine as the only solution, but given its track record, it's only a matter of time before it promotes mass vaccinations for monkeypox as the sole option.